welcome to our SLGIS Assistant YouTube channel. Hope you have already watched our previous videos and gained knowledge of our GIS. Please leave your comment regarding our lesson and your suggestions for further lessons in our channel. Okay, today I am going to explain you about very important data extraction for different types of surveys. If you want some terrain data to your project, it would be purchased from other department or institution which have collected data by using survey instrument and also you may post charges for purchasing this kind of valuable data but there is an option in google earth which useful to extract terrain data in a specific area so today i will explain about how to extract terrain data from google earth first of all double click and open google earth surface in your computer then zoom the desired area which you want to extract terrain data then click on add path button in toolbar you can change the path name and you can change the style and color from second tab then drag the style of box then by dragging the cursor you can draw a path across this area in here it is essential to draw the path all over the selected area to take a good terrain data extraction from this image. Now I am going to add from here. Now I have drawn the path here and there. Uh, you can see I have drawn it all over style of box again. Then click OK. Now we can save this path by right click on drawn path. Then click. Then browse the desired location. Then you can change the file name from here. And change the same type as came then click save okay then we can create a GPX file from this collected data to do that first of all open the website name GPS visualizer this is the GPS visualizer website here you can see there is an option for upload the collected data and convert to GPX format you can upload a file from clicking choose file then select the collected data and you can change the output as gpx file then click on convert and add elevation tab after finishing the process you can download the output file by clicking this link then turn on ArcGIS software and go to Arc toolbox then click on conversion tools then click on from GPS then click on GPS to feature here you can select the input GPS file as the converted file
in this output feature class you can browse a folder then you can put a name for this shape file then click ok now the terrain point has been created on this arcmap window you can right click on this terrain point and click on open attribute table in this elevation column you can see the elevation data of this layer by using this data we can generate a dim for this specific area and contour lines for this area to create the elevation model first go to arc toolbox then go to spatial analysis tool and click on interpolation then double click on idw this inverse distance weighted or idw interpolation determine height values of surrounding area by using sample points in here you can choose the input point features as terrain point and you can change the output raster location and other options can be keep as the default values then click ok in here you can select the input point features as terrain point and uh, I'm going to change the output raster location then click save in here the Z value field should be used as elevation and other options can be keep as defaults then click ok now elevation idw has been created with various colors of elevation classes by using this dem we can extract contour lines for this particular area to do that again go to our toolbox then under spatial analysis tool click on surface then double click on contour here you can choose input raster as elevation idw and output feature class can be change the output location then click save and you can enter a contour interval for this area here you may change the contour interval as 1 meter 2 meter 5 meter or 10 meter as your selected area and then click ok now the contour lines has been generated for this area Here you can see the contour lines have been generated smoothly all over this area by opening attribute table of this contour line you can see the elevation data for this contour lines also you can put it this as a KML file and open in Google Earth to do that go to our toolbox then go to conversion tools then click on to KML then click on layer to KML and the layer can be selected as terrain line and I am going to change the output location from here
then click OK. After convert layer to KML, you can open Google Earth. Then click on File, Open. Then browse your location. This is the converted terrain line. Then click, click Open. Here you can see the converted terrain line have overlay the ground. You can change the properties of this terrain line. Here you can see the peak points of this mountain and you can see the contour elevation from clicking these contours. Now you can use the terrain point and terrain line data for your projects by extracting this method. Hope you have learned a good method for collecting data and get experience in various types of analysis tools in RGIS. Please leave your comments in comment section regarding this video and your suggestions for next lesson. Hope to see you soon in my next video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe us.